Welcome to Touch Technology Review today, a quick demonstration on how to add voiceover on iMovie for iOS for your iPhone or iPad. Now, voiceover is the ability to add your own voice over the top of a video clip. Now, you can completely replace the existing audio or you can add it as an overlay on top of the audio that exists on that video. So we're gonna have a look at how to do that in just a moment. But before we do, a quick note about audio production when it comes to recording your voiceover, and that is about the proximity of the microphone to your voice. Now, when you're recording a voiceover, particularly indoors, there'll be a lot of ambient noise and echo that can come into the recording if you don't have your microphone close enough to the audio source. And some rooms will be noisier than others due to air conditioning and environmental noises. And also the reflections might be greater in one room than another that produces an excessive amount of echo. So if you have a lot of hardwood floors, uh, not much furniture in the room, you're gonna get a lot of echoes. If you have high ceilings, again, it's gonna exacerbate the amount of reflections and echoes. So the way to avoid that in any recording is to get the microphone as close as possible to the audio source. So when you're doing your voiceover, before we get onto that bit, just keep in mind that you wanna get it as close as you can, usually one or two inches away from the vocal source. And even better, if you've got your Apple headphone set available, this includes a built-in microphone, so you'll probably get an even better sound if you plug your microphone into your iPhone before doing the voiceover. So that's a quick tip on audio production. Now let's go ahead and check out how to add the voiceover using iMovie. So tap onto iMovie and if you're not there already, go into your projects tab and tap on the large plus button on the top left hand corner of iMovie and create a new movie. Now you can select multiple clips here or just one depending on how you wanna compose your movie. In this particular example, I've just got one movie clip that I wanna replace the existing audio with my voiceover. So I'm going to go ahead and select that clip and then at the bottom of the screen, there's an option to create my movie and that will import that single clip into iMovie. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is tap on the clip on the timeline and you'll notice a sub menu appears. In the sub menu below, you'll see a number of options. You can split, detach, duplicate, or delete that video clip. I'm going to select detach and when I do, you'll notice that the audio track is detached from the video clip, which allows me to lower the volume or completely delete the audio altogether. In this example, I'm gonna tap on it and I'm just gonna lower the volume. So I'll have some of the audio in the background, but I'll completely lower the volume so that I can allow my voiceover to be the most dominant audio track. Now that I've done that, I'm ready to add my audio. To do that, simply tap on the plus button underneath the video preview window. You'll see a number of submenu options here to add video, photos, albums, audio tracks, even take a photo or video to insert directly into iMovie as you go. And of course, the option that we want right now for this particular demo, and that is voiceover. So let's select that option. Once you select voiceover, you'll see an audio level appear on your screen, and this allows you to monitor the level of the audio before you start recording. If it's in the greens to orange, that's great. If it goes into red, it's clipping, which means it's too loud. So you can adjust the distance of the voice to and from the recorder in order to avoid the clipping. So like I mentioned before, if you get it around two or three inches away from your mouth, that should be about the perfect level. If you see the occasional red for clipping, it's probably not a major issue. It's only when it goes into red on a consistent basis that, that you should be concerned, in which case you need to push the microphone further away from the audio source. Once you're happy with that, tap on the record option in the audio preview window. After a three second countdown, it will start recording. And once you've completed your recording, press stop. Now, if you're happy with your performance, you can press accept. If you weren't so sure about it, you can retake it. You can review it to check it out before you place it into the timeline or you can completely cancel it. But in this example, I'm going to tap on accept. 
that will place it into the timeline. And by the way, if you need to move it around on the timeline, simply tap on it, hold it for one second, and that will allow you to then drag it left or right into the correct position on your timeline. And that's pretty much all there is to recording your voiceover using iMovie for iOS. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.